Bad education is a really wild, true story. It's a very much a cautionary tale. Things aren't what they appear to be, and people aren't what they appear to be. It's darkly comic and sinister. It is just a slow drip, drip, drip. Something doesn't look right on the books here. <laughs> hey, Frank. Yeah. I've been doing some digging. I'm concerned with what I found. Bad Education is the story of the largest embezzlement scandal in American public school history, based on a true story that happened in the early 2000s. And action. Frank Tassone, who was the superintendent of a Long Island school in Roslyn. He was very successful. He got the school from being way down in the rankings to number four in the country. You see over the story, he and several staff members start embezzling from the public school system. What? Oh, Jesus, Everything's fine. It's a script by Mike Mikowski, who went to Roslyn High School. Amazing resource for me. The first major journalistic outlet to report on the scandal was Newsday. Once the dam broke, it was reported nationwide by New York Times on a week-to-week -week basis. Paul Vitello, the reporter that did it, was the father of my friend Sam. I asked Paul how he first got a beat on the story, and he said, the Hilltop Beacon, the school paper, which was crazy. This is two pages of contractor bids, building materials, and zoning ordinances. Yeah, it's journalism. Our readers are 15. Rachel being a student who works at the school newspaper, I felt like that to kind of stumble upon this very heavy truth, that's a lot of responsibility for a high school student. It's an amazing story about how these kids had the courage to go up against these huge authority figures. I mean, I remember what it was like when I was 15. I would barely speak to the, the superintendent, let alone send them to jail. Allison and I and Corey talked about how Frank is always well presented, but there's one person he can let his guard down with, and that is Pam. Allison is an actor of amazing range and always did such a wonderful job of humanizing Pam. She's a woman who worked so hard to get where she was. She started out as a bus driver. She was a real go-getter. July and August are all settled up, expenses booked and archived. Perfect. They were together for 12 years and saw the whole school system rise and rise and rise. I got us all the way to number four, and I will get us to number one. We definitely thought it was very important that we really understood Frank, that he really was kind of an educator and a teacher at heart. Chad's a smart kid with the world ahead of him, and it's our job to give him the runway. It's really, really exciting to be able to see Hugh Jackman step into this role. He is just truly one of the most likable human beings and actors around. In the case of Frank Tassone, that charisma is weaponized. Frank was someone who charmed everybody. He was very good at knowing exactly the buttons to push for the people that he's talking to. We were inviting the Times, Newsday, every other paper in the tri-state area to our front door. With all due respect, screw the papers. This is a very real crime here. When you find out that all of this happened, it will shock you. It will, at times, make you laugh. Hopefully, it will make us all think twice about those people we hold in positions of power. If the scandal gets out, we We'll lose everything. Hi there. Did you know that you might actually be sitting on a pot of gold? Yes. If you're a movie lover and have some DVDs at home, some might be worth well into the thousands, such as the Complete the Monkey series or even just the Dragon Ball Z box set. Have a look at home. Remember to click below to subscribe, and if you like this t-shirt, you can get one for yourself at the shop link in the description.